Well, hi, it's Jackie, and this week's art blog is an interesting journey. We're going to visit three of the world's greatest artistic achievements. Three blog articles, and each has several videos, so I call this an art feast. Well, this is where we're going to begin. This is the Museum District in Houston, Texas, right there and it really surprised me. So it's a place I suggest you want to one day put on your to-do list. It has 19 museums within one and a half miles, and they're mostly free to the public. They are world-class and definitely worth the journey. So my favorite is right here, the Rothko Chapel. We'll begin right here today. Mark Rothko was one of the most influential American artists of the mid 20th century, and he was commissioned to create an environment for his paintings, which resulted in a group of 14 paintings created specially for this meditative space. And that's what it is. It is a chapel. The Rothko Chapel and Barnett Newman sculpture, Broken Obelisk, which faces the chapel, the chapel, you can see it right here, is dedicated to Dr. Martin Luther King. And so this modern work of religious art was commissioned for Houston and is comparable, they say, to the Chapel of the Rosary in Vence by Henry Matisse, or Henri Matisse, or the Le Cabousier Chapel in Ronchamp, France. So, the next two articles take us to the Matisse Chapel and the Le Cabousier Chapel. I've included several videos in each of those articles along with some really interesting details. Le Cabousier. Chapel de Notre-Dame du Haut à Ronchamp. So, here it is. This is how Matisse's chapel. Chapelle de Notre-Dame du Haut à Ronchamp. And this is Le Cabousier. Le Cabousier. There. So let's travel together to all three works of art where the painter, sculptor, and architect have collaborated in creating these spiritual spaces. Enjoy their artistic achievements. But I warn you, take your time. Each article is filled with wonderful information and very enjoyable videos. We really get to see a lot and learn a lot. It's like visiting three museums in one day, which is way too much for me when it's an experience for all of the senses. So I suggest you do them one at a time. I don't know about you, but I find if I take in too much at one time, I get culture overload. I leave you with Matisse, and this is what he said. I don't know whether I believe in God or not. I think really I'm some sort of Buddhist. But the essential thing is to put oneself in a frame of mind which is close to that of prayer. I'll go with Matisse on that part. So, have a great week. I hope it's peace-filled and you enjoy every minute of this, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.